My name is R.C. Hoover. My title here is instructor. I'm stationed at the Elkhorn Valley campus. I teach English composition, particularly English 0960 fundamentals, English 1010 Comp 1, and English 1020 Comp 2. I've been at MCC for five years. In fact, I just got my five-year award. Before I came to Metropolitan Community College, I actually taught at a community college in the state of Washington, up near the Canadian border, about halfway east and west across the street. Um, it was a very rural environment. We were a branch campus. The filming of Twin Peaks actually happened not too far from where I lived and taught, and we actually visited the location where they were filming. Twin Peaks had occasionally would show pans and people who were actually watching the filming might actually show up in the background in some scenes. So there is a small chance that in one of those clips you'd actually see me and, me and my group. I lived and worked in a little town called Omac for 20 years. That was where the north campus of Wenatchee Valley College was. I lived right across the street from the campus and for 20 years I taught writing. Um, here it's called 1010, there it was called 101. And the freshman composition, the research class, the preparatory classes, 20 years of that. When the state budgetary situation required personnel cuts, I went looking for jobs. I got two offers. I got one in Atlanta and I got one here and I decided to come here. My undergraduate degree was at Washington State University, the campus in Pullman, Washington, and my master's in English, composition and rhetoric, was also from the Pullman campus of Washington State University. Wow, that was back in 1991. The purpose of pursuing composition and rhetoric, master's degree, not PhD, but master's degree, was that was the credential required to teach at the community college in the state of Washington. That was my goal all along. I've actually had three mentors over time. Um, the first was a high school instructor named John Urban. And because I got very, very deathly ill my sophomore year in high school, by the time I got back, I was older. And uh, Mr. Urban was willing to deal with the fact that I was not going to be attending regularly because of my health. And actually talked to me about what is involved in actual teaching. What is teaching really? You know, having been a student all those years. I only saw part of what the whole teaching is about. And because of how he explained what teaching is, how it works, what classroom management really is, that got me thinking about whether teaching was something I might want to do. In terms of learning about English, that was Professor Thomas Barton, who was one of my professors when I was an undergraduate. And Professor Barton was a bit of a throwback. He wasn't a specialist. He was one of the last generalists, a renaissance man in the Department of English, all the way back before there was a schism between the literature and composition. And he brought some very, very interesting historical insights, helped me see the sweep of history and theoretical development behind how we do business now. I am very thankful also for my boss at the Writing Center at Washington State University, Robin Magnuson, because he taught me the political end. I honestly had no idea how political life at a college can be. And Robin acquainted me with the importance of committee meetings. What really happens at committee meetings? 
how decisions are really made, how to actually influence them in a, in a good way. And that was extremely valuable. I did not want to be a teacher. In fact, I was dead set against it for a long time. Um, I frequently tell the story that my mother knew I was going to be a teacher long before I did. Teaching is an intensely people profession. And for the longest time, I was very uncomfortable being around people. Personality-wise, I'm, I'm very much an introvert. So being around people all the time, every day, being in front of folks, being on stage, is deeply challenging to me every day. But I discovered when I was working in a writing center that I really am very good at explaining some of this stuff to people one-on-one. -on -one. And I was so good at it that they were willing to pay me quite quite a significant wage to continue doing that. I discovered that it was possible to use those same skills, use that same sort of rapport building, same sort of um, question and answer technique in the classroom. And that helped give me something to overcome the sense of mind-numbing terror <laughs> when you walk into a room and there are people and they're all looking at you. I'd love them to remember to not procrastinate. I'd love them to remember to read the assignment, be, to be sure they know what they're doing. But what they do remember is usually something very different than that. Sometimes students tell me that they remember about to be words. Am, is, are, was, were, be, being, been, conjugations of the verb to be, because I really emphasize not having a lot of those. That's an extremely powerful technique for helping people emphasize active voice and, and wonderful things. But frequently, what students tell me they remember are little side conversations or little offhand comments that somehow I managed to say the right word or chew them out in the right way. And that had a profound and positive impact on not only how they operated in the classroom, but how they operated on life. And I'm always very, very surprised when um, people discover years later that a little offhand comment like, don't worry about your major, just do something interesting. Or comments like that will have will rest so heavily in their memory, will have such a profound impact on them. Oh my, um, students teach me things pretty much every day. If I'm talking about students in general, students in general have taught me and continue to teach me that people are different and that's okay. Hmm. I have had particular students um, teach me, well, where shall I begin? Um, teach me how to kill people. Um, I've had students who are former Green Berets. Um, I've had many trainings on post-traumatic stress disorder. And I've had students teach me the reality behind that training. I remember a, a student who was a former Marine sniper who looked fit and energetic but was always just a bit distant. And he explained to me why he's like that, what the medication does to him. I've had students teach me the devastating impact of sexual assault, what that does to a good student years later. I've had students teach me lessons in courage and perseverance and priorities. I'm R.C. Hoover, English instructor 
at Metropolitan Community College.